Welcome to Regal Entertainment. Refreshments are available in the lobby. And please, keep our theater clean by disposing of trash in specified containers. And remember, gift certificates are available for any special occasion. Enjoy the show. issues with it is that the water from the plants and the fish are both circulating together. And this is an issue because they both have different requirements for things like pH and also nutrients. If the ammonia gets in the water gets too high, it can kill the fish. Some of the nutrients required for plant growth are also harmful to the fish. And so one of the ways of solving this issue is actually decoupling the system. So you're breaking apart the fish and the plants so that they're two separate circulating systems. Um, so for our design, that's what we're going to be showing you. Hey guys, so in this part of the video, we're going to go over the overall schematic of the aquaponics system. So here you see we have the plant ecosystem and the fish ecosystem. They're decoupled, which makes for a very happy, healthy environment for the fish. They're all happy and happy and healthy environment for the plants. So we start here by putting in some fish feed into the fish tank. Um, the fish produce some fish waste which goes into the endurance B filter. Now from this endurance B filter it takes out ammonium from the fish waste, converts it to nitrate and this nitrate is circulated back into a clarifier and back into the fish tank. So that's at a constant circulation. From the other side of the endurance B filter we have um, fish waste which comes from the back flushing of the endurance beak filter. Now this fish waste comes out and is going to enter into UASB which is an anaerobic type uh, digester. Now from that digester it goes into a settling tank because it still has a lot of solids in it. So those solids tend to go down to the bottom and the good water from the settling tank goes out the top into another mixing tank. Now in that mixing tank you can inject chemicals, micronutrients, macronutrients, whatever you need. So after it goes through these three steps, the UASB, the settling tank, and the mixing tank, now that goes back into the plants. The plants then take that mineralized water created from these three processes, uses that, and whatever is not used circulates back into the mixing tank and now that's at a constant circulation. Now if there's too much and there's an accumulation of fish waste or there's an accumulation of water, you're going to have that um, pipe coming out of the settling tank teed where if you get too much accumulation it's going to run back into the fish tank so your system over here does not overflow. So that's the general outline of the decoupled aquaponic system. So once the water leaves the fish tank, it comes to our upflow anaerobic sludge blanket, which is an anaerobic digester to break down the solid fish waste. It comes in from there, is broken down by the bacteria, and, which, and all the solid matter will stay there. And then once it clears up, it'll come up and come over our weir, and then down here and flow into our settling basin. This is where any extra solids are caught and then fed back into our anaerobic environment to be broken down further. Once it comes through here, it'll be going towards our mixing tank. But before that, if we have too much water in our plant system, we can just run the water back to our fish tank. But then once it goes here, this is the point of no return where it stays in our plant system 
in our mixing tank we can put any chemicals we want for the water and we won't have to worry about harming the fish. Morning mates. Today we're doing a nitrogen balance for our decoupled aquaponics system. Uh, up here in equation one we're going to figure out how many plants we can feed with our system. Uh, Gregory Schwartz has told us that we have put 250 grams of feed a day and using the conversion factor of 40 grams of feed to feed one square meter of plants we can get approximately 6.25 square meters of plants fed by our aquaponic system. Now this might be a little bit of a range. Um, our feed is higher in protein as opposed to normal feed and uh, we might be able to feed a little bit more plants but this is the conversion factor we were given. Uh, if we look into factor two we can take that same 250 grams of feed a day and we can convert it into our total amount of nitrogen. Now we do that by converting first grams of feed into um, pounds of feed per day. This is wrong. This should be pounds of feed per day. Uh, by using that, we can say that this high protein, as I mentioned before, version of feed, uh, we have 0.4 pounds of protein per pound of feed that we give to the fish. Out of that, for every one pound of protein, 0.16 pounds of nitrogen is able to be extracted from that. And from that, only half of that protein that is extracted as nitrogen will be able to go into available nitrogen for the fish. Uh, after working out this entire equation, we can get 0 0.0173 pounds of nitrogen or 8 grams of nitrogen. Finally, three, this isn't really our nitrogen balance. This is more of just our flow per day. Um, 250 grams of feed per day will get 10 liters of sludge per day, and that's how much our system has to work with. So, in order to build this whole system, how much, how many, how much funds do we have? Well, you see, we've got about five hundred dollars for this system saved up. Wow. Well, uh, looks like we have a couple of things already, don't we? We have a. Oh yeah, yeah. Luckily, we've got the fish tank already with the fish in it, and the AST endurance filter, which is a big deal. Uh, we already own that, so well, we don't need to nice. spend any money on that. Well, it looks like we need to build a UASB tank. So, what are we going to need for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to need about a 55 gallon tank with the lid, of course, because it's uh, it's got to be sealed off. Um, mm. It's going to be about $85. Plus, we're going to have a 23 gallon tank inside that. Um, you know, where we have our media and our our weir. It's going to be $30. Oh wow! Looks like we also need a settling tank too. So, what do we what do we need for that then? Yeah, yeah. It's got a big settling problem. Um, luckily, we found a cone tank online. 35 gallon cone tank, which is plenty for our, you know, our HRT of about eight to ten hours. Um, it's gonna be about eighty-nine dollars. Oh, okay. And it looks like we need a mixing tank as well. Yeah, I mean, it's controversial, but uh, if you don't want to put any fertilizers or add anything else into it, then it's gonna be uh, about another thirty-two gallon tank of twenty-seven dollars. Uh, that'll be helpful. And it looks like we need one more pump just to kind of move things around, don't we? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you want to, um, if you want to, you know, have that return system where uh, excess water that can't be put towards the mixing tank has to go back to the fish tank, you have to pump it over there. It's gonna be about another twenty-one dollars. Okay. And how much does that give us left over for just anything else we need? Yeah, let me go add those up real quick. Huh? Yeah, surplus of about $248. We could probably use that for, you know, PVC pipes and fittings and extra pumps plus the media and the microbes that we got to put in the UASB. Wow. Looks like we can pull this off. Well, hope you guys enjoyed our video. We had a lot of fun making it. And here's some of the bloopers from our filming. As we can see over here and also over... <laughs> We're rolling. Oh yeah, do your little shimmy. Mm. Yeah, get it. Uh. Yeah, this is solo. Give the shimmy. Give oh. the shimmy. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. Thank you. Well, it's a very delicate balance, and in an intensive system, you're really pushing it all. Flash. Okay, we'll just cut this one at 40 seconds. Um, now we're going to do a nitrogen mass balance for Piferini's protein shake.
So basically, <laughs> <laughs> pounds and pounds and pounds of protein. protein. You don't get this huge without it. <laughs> By the way, this should definitely be nitrogen. Fish is the same water that the plants are receiving, and this can cause a lot of issues because they require um, different. <laughs> Oh my god.